Mathematicians, in this lesson you will learn how to tell the domain and range of a quadratic by looking at the graph. You already know that the domain is the set of x values in a function, in this case a table. And you already know that the range is the set of y values. So we're going to use this information knowing that the domains are all the x values a function can have and the range is all the y values a function can have to look at the graphs of some quadratics and find their domain and range. So since the domain is all the possible x values, we're just going to look along the x axis and where our function can be traced back to have an x value. So our function has a value of 0 for x right here, a value of 1 for x right here, 2, 3, 4, and then negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. It also has every single decimal between 3 and 4, between 2 and 3, and every integer is accounted for on the graph because there are no holes in the graph. So you could trace all of these points back to the x-axis. It also continues on forever on both directions. So this pattern would continue on forever. So that means that all real numbers are represented by the graph. Another way to write that is like that. That symbol means all real numbers. Over here, this one has a similar domain. The values right here all correspond to some x value. You can trace them down to represent some value along the x-axis. And even after the graph goes below, you can trace it up because right here, the value of the function on the x-axis would be 0 and then negative, negative 1. This will continue on in both directions, so again, this one has a domain of all real numbers. Let's look at the range. The range is the set of y values, so that means this time we're going to look at the y-axis and want to know where does our function have y values. So if we look at our function, the bottommost point of the function is right here on 2. And then it has a value of 3 actually in two different places, once here and once here. Also, every number in between is represented. And then it has a value of 4, 5, and 6. And every single value in between can be traced to my parabola. And that continues in the upward direction on to infinity. But if I look here at 1, there's no corresponding value. If I trace 1, all the points with a y value of 1, my graph is never going to touch that. So the smallest my y values ever get is 2. So a way I could write that is that y is greater than or equal to 2. Over here, the biggest y value I ever have is at 4. And then I can trace y values go keep going below. There's several y values below it. And they go down below onto infinity, but my y values never get bigger than 4. So my range is y is less than or equal to 4. Let's put this together in one problem. State the domain and the range of the parabola. So we're going to put a d and an r, one for domain, one for range. I'm going to do the domain first. The domain again is the x values. So if we start here, we can trace down and we see that everywhere along here, the domain there is an x value and it goes on forever in this direction and forever in that direction because my parabola kind of curves but continues moving that direction. So it's going to be all real numbers. Now to do the range. The range are now the y values. And so the biggest I ever get along this axis is right there at negative 2. And I have y values below that if I trace these lines and every infinite line that I can't draw, it will continue and it keeps going down, down, down into infinity. But it never gets bigger than negative 2, so y is less than or equal to negative 2. So in this lesson, you learned how to tell the domain and the range of a quadratic by looking at the graph.